Hello everyone, it's the Divination Duchess here with another pick a card reading for you. This one is whether someone new is coming into your life, if someone is walking towards you in the near future, okay? So we have three piles here. The first one here is with our crystal card, Raw Morganite. Second one, Celestite. Third one, Jade. Go ahead, take your time to just relax, connect with your inner selves, your intuition, and pick the pile that calls out to you most. And we'll go ahead and get started with the reveal. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started revealing pile one, which was the raw Morganite. So if you pick this pile, we are going to go ahead and get started. We got a few cards from our Psychic Tarot, a few from our Angel Answers, and a couple um, from our Kipper. It's our Kipper fortune telling deck. Okay, so first of all, it really um, looks like there's definitely someone coming towards you, okay? But this is after a time of really feeling some disruption in your life, okay? Maybe you've been feeling like things haven't really been going right. Maybe you've been feeling uneasy, Um or feeling like things are kind of, some of you may be feeling like things are kind of just, even if it's not uneasy, it's not the most comfortable, something crazy has been going on, but you're really going through this awakening, okay? You're really going through this awakening of knowing that there's something better, and this manifesting, this knowing is what's going to bring um, this person into your life. So we also got the third eye chakra card here, which is about, of course, being open to knowing what's really going on around you, being enlightened, okay? So like I said, this is really coming from you uh, from a spiritual standpoint of being open, having your third eye open, just kind of being ready for this spiritual transition, okay? And that's what's really um, going to bring this person into your life, okay? And so we also got the material and spiritual prosperity, okay? So like I said, you've gone through this period of disruption, you kind of just opened your eyes, and now you're ready for this material and spiritual prosperity and some of this prosperity comes from a new relationship okay of course there's a lot of different aspects that are going to be helping increase your material and spiritual uh, prosperity but this does come with a new mate that's going to be entering your life because you've opened your eyes like i said you've opened your eyes to know that there's something better out there there's something um, fulfilling out there. There's something to where you can feel happy with someone, okay? You know that there's that option, okay? And like I said, you're manifesting it. And so with knowing that something better is out there, knowing you have that option, having your third eye open and just manifesting um, this material and spiritual prosperity in your love life, it's definitely going to bring someone new towards you, okay? We also got choose a new direction. So once again, spirit is saying that it's clear that you have chosen to go in this direction. You have chosen this new direction. You are open to it. And that's the most important thing when it comes to love and relationships. A lot of times we feel we're ready when we're not necessarily ready. But it really looks like you guys with pile one are definitely ready. You're ready for this new venture. You're ready for this new direction. You know that there's better options out there. So you're ready to move forward, okay? Because your third eye is open, which is necessary um, whenever someone new comes into your life just so you can see the situation clearly. So to further clarify, we got the main male here, okay? So this can be either a main male or main female, depending on who you're interested in, okay, that is going to be coming into your life, okay? So this person is going to be um, like your main squeeze. They're going to be the one that you um, 
spend your time with, give your love to, okay? And this person really, it's going to feel like an honor for both of you guys. We also got the high honor card here, okay? And so I really feel like because um, you've been waiting and you've gotten over this period that, and like I said, your third eye is fully open, this... Uh, main male is going to be coming in kind of swiftly because you're you're ready you're ready to receive and it's going to be someone that's honorable okay it's going to be an honor for both of you guys i really feel like your energy is going to match because you're not for the bs okay we didn't forget this there's something better and we didn't forget this new direction so this is really about a new relationship coming that's going to be an honor. It's going to be something different that you haven't really experienced. It's going to be right what you manifested. It's going to bring a lot of spiritual prosperity to your life. And it is definitely um, something that you can look forward to. I love the energy in this pile. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Revealing pile two here, which is the Celestite pile. Okay, so if you pick that one, this is for you. And let's see if anyone is coming towards you. Okay, pile two. So it looks like you guys are still working through some heartache and pain from the past. Okay. Um, it looks like Spirit is saying you're not quite ready for this new person to walk into your life, but there's definitely a lot of hope involved, okay? There is some hope in this situation. It's just a matter of working through your own personal stuff. It's a matter of working through your pain. It's a matter of finding balance. It's a matter of making sure you are whole and healthy and happy um before this new person is able to walk into your life okay and so we definitely got the heartache and loss card here so this card is really about feeling like you've lost something heartbroken feeling like you need to work through some issues work through some pain as you can see she's very somber she's not even looking forward she's looking down okay almost in a prayer state just trying to keep it together get it together and so Spirit is saying that this is really what's most critical right now for Pile 2, okay? Um, until you work through these personal things, whoever you bring into your life is not going to be the healthiest. We also got a no, so I mean that Spirit clearly saying right now is not the time to um, have a new person in your life because you're still bringing yourself back to health. You're still working over this heartache and loss and you're still trying to bring some balance into the situation, okay? You may be very emotional. Um, you may have a lot of baggage. You may have just a lot of uh, heartache and loss like the card said. I mean, you know what that means. And so... You got to bring that back into balance. And so the hope is there, which is the positive thing, because without hope, you can't bring the balance into the situation. You can't bring it into your life, but it's just going to take a little bit of time. And so Spirit is saying, look for a sign, okay? And this sign is going to be you healing. This sign is going to be you overcoming, you um, learning that everything is okay, and being able to find this balance so that, like I said earlier, you are ready for healthy relationships, okay? Because Spirit is clearly saying here in this pile that there was a past relationship, this official person that was in your life, and it was a bad relationship, bad health, okay, with this person. It was a really bad relationship, and that's why you're feeling this heartache and loss, okay? And if you don't heal from that, if you don't get this balance, Spirit is saying that this is going to come back around again, okay? That's that karma. The same negative energy, the same bad relationship. And that's why Spirit is saying, find that balance, okay? So it's not that there isn't someone coming towards you. It's just that they're not coming towards you right now because you have to work on 
besides having this hope in this relationship, you have to work on actually healing from this heartache, from this loss, from this negative, negative situation. Got to find this balance. And then from there, just look for a sign, okay? Just look for a sign of this person that's going to come into your life um, that is not, you know, feeding you negative energy, feeding you that BS and bringing you back to this point because we all know no one wants to do this. No one wants to do this over and over. This is stressful. It's not the happiest thing. So it's best to heal before moving forward. I love that energy. So let's get started with our pile three here. Okay, so for pile three, you guys picked the jade. So let's see what spirit has to say in the jade pile. So it looks like there's definitely someone new coming in because it looks like you're learning to stay more grounded and you've kind of stepped into your power okay so first here we got the base chakra which is about being grounded staying grounded looking at things logically um really just kind of being cool calm and collected okay so i always love this energy um and so with this grounded energy, you were able to get over some of the despair that you've had in previous relationships, okay? So this is really creating some healthy love energy around you, okay? And this healthy love energy is coming from the healing that you have done. A lot of times when people go through breakups, um, they're distraught, they're sad, they're in this despair energy. And when you're in this despair energy, you're not necessarily grounded or open to love or ready for a new relationship. But Spirit is saying that, you know what, those of you who have picked pile three, you are grounded, okay? You've kind of went through this pain. You've kind of worked through it. You, you know, you felt sad, but now you're over it, okay? You're ready for new love. You're ready for a new situation. And that comes from you stepping into your personal power, okay? You are now this beast, and it's not in a bad way. You're not going to go and rip everyone's heart out. But you're just like, I'm powerful. I know my worth, okay? And when you know your worth, you attract the right type of energy. And so Spirit is saying that you, Pile 3, y'all know your worth, okay? You're grounded. You got over your despair. You're open for love. You found your personal power. And you feel strong. You feel cool, calm, and collected. You know your worth. So you are definitely open to love okay and this card memories of love further shows that you are definitely open to it okay and like i said a lot of times when people go through that despair that breakup they're not open to love because your heart is a little bit hardened and so spirit of saying pile three your heart's not hard at all okay you have these positive memories of love and so you're ready to jump back in there okay you're ready to trust but you're ready to trust with um, evidence that the person deserves to be trusted. You're ready. You're grounded. You're using your common sense, okay? And so you're ready for this new person to come in. And this new person that's going to come in, we got a big fat yes from our angel adds to your cards as well, okay? So a big fat yes. There's someone moving towards you, okay? And it's going to be a very happy union, okay? We got big happy changes so your life definitely is going to change but it's going to be in the most positive ways okay because you're attracting not just love but like this big happy love you're you're attracting the celebratory love you're attracting something new something fresh something happy and so this energy is really just going to give you a sense of excitement, okay? Um, a sense of pleasure, a sense of refreshingness. I was going to say renewal, but then I also said refreshingness. So, a sense of renewal, newness, okay? So, um, it's really there. It's really open. 
we also got the gift card. So this person is really going to come into your life like a gift wrapped, you see? We got a little gold box with a red ribbon, okay? So this ain't just any gift. It's a really nicely packaged gift. It's sparkly, it's glistening, it's blinging. This is the good stuff. This is the big happy changes. This is that big, big yes. So you definitely should pat yourself on the back because you are attracting this love. You are attracting this new person by stepping into your personal power, by being grounded, by letting go of all the despair that you've been through, and by focusing on what love really is and looking at those positive, happy memories of love, okay? And because of this, you are attracting that love. I love this energy pile three. It has been a pleasure. And until the next time.